Hey, this is Sigur from Hexel.com. Today we're gonna make app shortcuts, which is the feature available from API 25 only. Yeah, but if you have a latest uh, Android, uh, this might be useful for you. So there is two types, uh, static and dynamic. Let's make static first. You need to add this meta tag in the manifest launcher activity with the name of shortcuts and declare XML resource. Here you declare all the static shortcuts you want. I have three. And it has an icon and a label. And you can provide the activity which it will start and the intent the extra. So for me, I display list of movies. And I have three different shortcuts for different sort types. those and uh, those shortcuts start the same activity but uh, with the different uh, intent extra bundle different sort type here just by checking the intent extra in the activity you can know if uh, activity was started from shortcut or not and most of the icons have this uh, white circle with SVG you can easily wrap it uh, with the group with scale one four. It's uh, about what all the other apps have, and the circle on the background. And here goes your icon. That's what the, it would look like without. So you can uh, copy this code from the repo and uh, put in the onto your icons. So if static shortcut is being added during build, uh, dynamic can be added uh, by user or programmatically, like what they do in the Google Maps. So what I have in here is a just simple like bookmark shortcut. And now I will have this movie as a shortcut here. And it uh, keeps only one movie for a shortcut. That's uh, the old code that you need to write for it. This is in Kotlin, but it's very similar to Java. You get shortcut manager service, create an intent with the bundle, just like you create it in here. With the activity and extra movie ID, create a shortcut with an icon and name. Yeah, and that's it. Maybe they will make it compatible later or not. Yeah, you can check out the GitHub repository for sample code and uh, if you just want to look at uh, some Kotlin code. Most of the stuff is here in Kotlin. Yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.